What's going on everyone? It's your favorite host and Jealous Hater Apoc and welcome back to the channel. So I definitely wasn't planning to be posting this today. I actually was going to post my actual full in-depth reaction and breakdown to Oscar's Instagram live. But then I got this picture in my DMs, which I guess is official. Kiera and Preston are together, which raises a bunch of different questions that we will get into. Now, the reason why I'm backtracking and not posting my thoughts on Oscar's Instagram live, like the actual breakdown, like I said, is because things have changed and there's certain things that are said where I don't really want to defend Kira anymore. Now obviously we still will point out Oscar's wrongdoings or things that he says that's just not cool but defending Kira is probably no longer on the agenda. I always look at things from an unbiased perspective but with this she really did Oscar and Hannah even really really dirty. Now of course we're only quickly talking about this but next week I should have a full in-depth video kind of um, you know connecting the dots and whatnot. I mean just seeing this picture just makes things so much worse because she didn't just screw over her own partner of seven years you know the person she has four children with a life a house a business everything no she also screwed over her best friend hannah who she has a podcast with which no wonder they're not doing it anymore why she still has bts in her bio on instagram i don't know that's up for debate like kira really really does want people to dislike her this is going to ruin her online career i don't care what anyone says it, it will the breakup was enough for Kira to get lost like but adding to that like this adds to that this makes things so so much worse than it already was and it was really bad already and you know for a while now I've been very very critical of okay baby in the relationship I was probably one of the first people to actually talk about them and their relationship and the toxicity it's like as a creator not the first one who ever did it I'm just saying that on YouTube as a creator I'm probably the one who brought it up first which is whatever not even taking credit I'm just making a point that I've been very very critical of their toxic relationship i made a damn series on it and plan to make more but her just doing this in general there are no words man well you know that's kind of a lie because there's shady there's toxic there's a uh, you know pos there's all the above you know Kira's uh, marking all those down but when it comes to the relationship I've looked at both sides because I've seen the faults with Oscar and I've seen the faults with Kira and we try to look at things with an unbiased perspective at least here on my channel that's what we do but it's becoming a problem Kira when you keep doing shit like this it's a problem because it makes people like me who aren't biased at all who want to look at both sides look at you in a different light when you do things like this this is shady I don't want to defend Kira anymore. I really don't. Now, will I? Sure, maybe based around things Oscar says and does, okay. Because, you know, like in the Q&A they did together, the last one they did, you know, it seemed like Kira's priorities were the children and Oscar's was just going on partying with Corinna in Florida. But here's the thing. She wasn't actually thinking about the kids because she's actively having somebody over. So, like, was he over Kira's house while Oscar was off with the kids? Is he, like, the new stepdaddy? Are they playing house? Like, there's so many questions that need answering. Who knows if they'll even get answered? I mean, this is pretty damn big. I mean, Kira can avoid the cheating question as much as she wants, but this is like a whole different ballgame because when this blows up and it's going to blow up and it's going to blow back in her face, I think she's going to actually have to address it. Will she try to sweep it under the rug? I think so for a little bit, but eventually she's going to get so much hate and slack that she's either going to have to leave or she's going to have to address it. Bro, why? Why does she have to be so self-destructive like this? Not just that, but like ruin other people's lives and relationships. Hannah and Preston were about to get married. Like the, earlier this month, I think, was their date. I forget the date, but it was early this month. They were supposed to get married and they were together since high school, I believe. So she ruins her relationship with Oscar. Oscar still had his part to play. He still had his fault. Still the shady things themselves, but not like this. You know what I mean? Not like this. This is just bad. But Kira breaks up with Oscar and who knows if the guy she apparently cheated on Oscar with or was like comforting. Who knows who that was? Was it Preston? I don't know. There's not enough information on that. Word on the street is that it wasn't Preston. And then now she's deciding to get with Preston. And when did that happen? It's just so convenient though, that around the time when Hannah and Preston were speculated to be broken up, which they were because just, you know, look at the social media, it was very telling. Kira did the same stuff when she broke it off with Oscar. But around that time, BTS stopped and still hasn't picked back up. Hannah stopped engaging with Kira on social media and vice versa. And now this picture, this is a problem. This is bad, man. This is just so shady. I don't, I don't get it, man. Kira did this whole thing about wanting to find herself and self-love and this and that. But then months later, she's doing this stuff or 
throughout the entire time she's been doing it. So it just seems like the breakup was a complete lie. She did not want to break up with Oscar because she wanted to find herself, which we already knew, but it's worse than we thought. All this stuff was speculation until now. We were just assuming that this was the case because they were kind of like leaving a small little digital trail. And you know how we sluice are, man. We picked this shit up real quick. But regardless, it was still speculation and that's all it was. I guess it's official now and it's just gross. And where was this picture at? Las Vegas? We all know Kira didn't go to Vegas by herself. Who does that? And didn't she say that she's going to Mexico or something like that? She wouldn't go to Mexico by herself. No, it makes no sense. And she got a boob job, which is whatever. She can do what she wants with that. But like, did she actually get it for her to love herself again, which makes no sense? Or did she, you know, just get it for Preston because it's within the timeline, you know what I mean? And it looks like it correlates with Oscar's Instagram live. Like it really does. Maybe as to why Oscar's mom really wanted Oscar to spill the tea because maybe she knows about Preston and Kira. If that's the case, then I understand why Oscar's mom did that. I was like, bro, you're like 40 chill. But now that this has come to light, I understand. Anyways, all you jealous haters, that's about it. Well, that's it. I just wanted to quickly hop on here and talk about this because man, this is just shady and gross and Kira, you deserve whatever hate is going to come your way. And with all that being said, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Okay, bye.